So everybody, this is Junior Francis, and he's in the house today. He wants to say Happy New Year, uh, 21, and he wanted to say in Chinese. Go ahead, Francis. 祝所有朋友新年快乐。我希望没有COVID的人都安全。我那么爱你。拉美西斯善吉姆。Happy to Happy New Year to our friends. That is correct. I hope everyone without COVID nineteen is safe. I love you so much, Ramsey Sangino. So basically, he say everybody. I hope Feliz Año Nuevo. No COVID for anybody. Feliz Año Nuevo a todos los amigos. Espero que todos sin COVID nineteen estén a salvo. Te quiero mucho. Ramses Sanguino. Muy bien. Los quiere mucho. Ramses Sanguino is going to talk about what today? I'm going to talk about infinity. Infinity? Do you have something else to show? I want to show... No. First way to generate infinity is by counting upwards. So here I have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then it goes on forever. This infinity I like to call Aleph is called Aleph Zero. Okay. And its its name is the countable infinity because you can count all the way here. So next is another way of in how am I gonna list all the integers? So zero, one, but this time you need to include a negative number, so negative one, six. Then two, negative two, three, negative three, four, negative four, five, negative five, and then so on. So you are explaining that Definitely, there is not only in one infinito, but is many. Yeah, you could even list all the fractions. Oh, wow. That's and great. Normally, you would list them in a little rectangle. Or actually a square, because, because you see, both numbers have the same amount of infinite. So it's an like an infinite by infinite. So I'll start with one. One over one. I like the concept of infinite by infinite. One over three. One over four. One over five. One over six. And then so on in this direction. You could also go down here in this direction as well. Two over one, three over one, four over one, and that also list. In fact, it's the same numbers over here. Put it in this direction. Is this line going to catch with this one somehow? Well, I don't think so because. If you go in one direction, you can't somehow turn like crazy. <laughs> so basically, you go in a direction forever. Is that right? Yeah. And then it goes on this direction as well. So how do you list these numbers then? You list them by diagonal. So this direction so one over one 
and then the next diagonal is going to start here and end over here and then one over two two over one and then one over three if you suspect two over two three over one one over four two over three it's alter ego three over three over two four over one and that goes on forever so basically so that's the first part Wow, even it has many parts. Yeah. Amazing. What else do you want to share? Well, can we list all decimals? So we start, how about we start over here at zero and one. So we just list all this. We can list all of the separate by 10. And this is a half. So on, separate all of them by 10. So that means that you list the like numbers like 0 0.2. Wait, but how about 0 0.618? How about 0 0.618 or, or how about a quarter? We, we missed a quarter. How about three quarters? How about three quarters? Then and then it becomes a little too repetitive. Let's say we can list all decimals. Let's say zero point three five four six two two one eight seven. And how about zero point nine nine five eight one one eight. Seven two nine, and how about like say zero point six one eight zero three three nine nine five? Okay, and how about like say zero point four four one one eight? And then we get like and then five, three, seven, one, four. That is amazing, Rance. So do you have something else to hey, say? Hey, 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 wait. Oh, it's five, because the time is almost six, over. Six, five, three, five. And then so let's say you want to go through the diagonals and make a number like that. Three, nine, eight, one, nine. So this new number is zero point three nine eight one nine. What is that? So this is the first and the second and the third, fourth, fifth, and it goes on like that. Meaning infinito. Now let's say. We want to make a new conversion rule. Let's say, let's say, imagine that the numbers are in a little clock like this, and every number has a near in, even or near odd. So the new conversion rule is, is that is to, so the new conversion rule is to put it to the put an even number to the next even number and an odd number to the next odd number. Let's see how this conversion goes. Two point that's five one zero two point five one zero and that's a one, so it was three, one. But wait, this is not listed in our original list. Because it can't be the first number. Because the first 
because the first decimal is different. It can't be a second number because the second decimal is different. It can't be the third number because the third decimal is different. It can't be the fourth number because the fourth number decimal is different. It can't be the fifth number because the fifth number decimal is different. So by the way, so the time create, is almost gone. So we created a number that's not in our list. No way. And this so is this is though? this is another level of infinity heart. It's called the uncountable infinity. Aleph one. Wow, that was amazing. Thank you so much for sharing. Thanks. Bye. Bye. And please don't forget what? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for um, follow Rances and he will be doing more videos for you guys. Happy New Year. Feliz Navidad, Feliz Año Nuevo, and Feliz Cumpleaños. <laughs> bye bye.